today I have a review of some What's Up Nails products and a tutorial using um, these pigments. And in my last pigment video, I showed how to use um, a single pigment, the hollow pigment, um, and four different ways to do that without gel. Here, I I'm gonna demonstrate what I think is the best method if you're gonna use um, multiple uh, pigments like I did here. So what I have here is this is What's Up Nails um, Paradise Powder. And this is What's Up Nails Rainforest Powder. And I'm using the What's Up Nails Plate B028. And I'm gonna be using these peacock feather uh, images here. So what I have is I have my thumbnail prepped with a coat of um, Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Blackout. And then I topped it with a matte top coat. And you can use any matte top coat, but I'm using the one from Lantern and Run. And then I have my uh, finger protected with a little bit of clear latex, just because this can get a little bit messy. So what I'm going to use is uh, the Moira Foil Stamping Polish in black. And I'm going to stamp it and then put the, the powder over it. And I think that that's the um, easiest method if you want precise application of the, um, of the powder in terms of where you want it to go. If you don't care as much, then you can do the stamper method that I've shown you before and just put it, you know, in random spots over the stamper. And then... Um, and then you can stamp as usual as well. So you don't have to have the foil stamping polish to make this work, but um, that's what I'm going to use for today. Okay, and I'm just going to stamp as usual. The foil stamping polish. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the powder on a sponge and add tiny dots of it in places. Then I'm going to use the other side of the sponge and add the other color. Okay, and then at some point you think you've covered it all and so you just pat it all on and make sure every area is that's been stamped is covered. As you can see, these pigments are really nice. They're very well pigmented in color and they shift beautifully. They're easy to work with. Okay, so once that's dry, then you can go in with any type of soft brush and just brush off the excess gently. And that also serves to sort of burnish the uh, powders in as well. And because of the matte, the, it doesn't stick to the non um, to the areas that, that don't have stamping polish on them. So that, remove your latex. And then I'm going to clean up and then I'm going to apply a water-based top coat first, let that dry and then apply my regular top coat over that. But you don't need to see that cause that's boring. So anyway, thanks for watching.